Hey Leo, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your host and welcome to the reading of the new moon in Aries. So this vibe is going to be a little different because it's probably about two in the morning and my neighbors are going to be trying to sleep right about now so I'm going to try not to be too loud. So it's just going to be a little different. I swear to you I'm not on drugs or anything. I'm just, I'm extremely tired. It's been a very long week but I'm here for you. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with the Moonology Manifestation deck. And for those who don't know, new moons are all about setting new intentions, planting your seeds into the ground, watching them grow once the full moon comes. And let's see for you, Leah, what is it that you're trying to manifest? For some of you, mm, you miss your innocence. You miss when you didn't have to take life so serious, I'm hearing. But for others of you... I just imagine somebody like at a very large table, like maybe a very wide table, dining hall table, and everybody's eating cake with um, maybe some fruit punch or something, and everybody's pretty chipper. I think somebody's birthday is being celebrated at the time, but there's like this one person that just feels like they're so out of place. Is that you, Leo? Like this person that's just like sitting at the table and like looking at everybody. Uh, it's hard to tell if you're bored or you're waiting for somebody to ask you how you're doing or initiate a conversation with you. Yeah, you're feeling very, like you're low on energy. Like you don't really feel the need to initiate things right now. But you don't mind observing others. It's just I feel like there's this part of you that might feel a little invisible. Or like your presence isn't very important at the time. Ah, oh, jeez, I dropped like a whole bunch of cards on the floor. Okay, so you have full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Maybe that's just it, Leo. Maybe you're feeling like in this room and at this table, you're the only person that feels like you have legitimate feelings, whereas everybody else's programs set into this interesting simulation that we call life. If it's not that, maybe in your group, whether it be with friends, family, wh whomever, you feel like you're the only person in that whole scenario who got the, the casting part of the background character. And you don't know why you feel that way, you just do. You know, like, you know your friends and family love you, but there is a part of you that wonders how do they really feel when you're not in the room? Like, what do they say? And, Leo, you're a sign that notices a lot. Like, you pick up on the energy of others. You're a naturally born leader, right? So you're always looking out to see, like, how the people around you are doing. But there's this part of you that just kind of knows that not everything is as we perceive it in face value. Like at this table, you're realizing everybody is so happy to see each other talk and catch up, but you've noticed none of them have really initiated a conversation with you. Maybe you're feeling like you're always the one that had to start something. So you wonder, like, do these people actually, do they actually care about me? Do they vibe with me? Or do they just invite me out so it doesn't hurt my feelings? Oh, Leo, I can understand why you feel that way, but if you do feel that way, maybe it's just time for you to get people that do get excited when you come around. I don't think you want anybody to be around you that's like super obsessed with you all the time or anything like that, Leo. But I feel like you're noticing that the vibes are just kind of dying off with whom you used to hang out with. Like you don't really feel as connected with them anymore. You might be feeling like this at your own home too. Like it's your home, <laughs> you know, maybe you pay rent there or a mortgage or whatever have you, you know, so it's your home, but there's this part of you that just sort of feels like it's not even really home. It's just more like an obligation. This is where you have to lay your head at night because you don't have anywhere else you could possibly go for the moment. But you're wondering if anybody notices just how out of place you feel. Mm. That's something. All right, so I'm gonna go in with your super attractor deck. Well, yours. I'm going to go on with the Super Attractor deck. And like, let's see what's coming towards you during this new moon or what you're trying to attract towards you. Okay, where do I 
second for the leisure. Oh, okay, that one hit me in the face. I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. Yeah, if you're feeling like people are just not really vibing with you like that, I don't think it's all in your head, Leo. I feel like this is for real. And you're tired of, I don't want to say lying to yourself, but you're tired of giving excuses and benefit of the doubt that maybe some people click and mesh well differently than when they do with you. But you're noticing this is a group that hangs out with each other. Maybe sometimes they make plans and they forget to invite you or include you or they they do invite you or include you, but you're just kind of like they they know you're the one with the car or they know you're the one with the money or they know that you're the one who has the nice house so they can host at your house because they can't do whatever they want to do at theirs but when it's all said and done and everybody arrives or you know they show up it's one thing but mostly because it's an opportunity for them to all hang out with each other or enjoy whatever it is that you're bringing to the table it's kind of like they're mooching off of you in a sense or borrowing your energy or your space or whatever it is that they're trying to get a hold of that they don't have for themselves but again like if they were to make plans amongst each other you always constantly feel like they may have forgotten about you or that things just aren't that serious and it sucks you know, you don't really want to force or fuss at anybody to help you feel important. Because for you, you know, like, either you are or you're not. You don't try to be anything more than what you are, Leo. And I love that about you. You know, you just... If you're not happy where you are, you get up and go. Like, you're not going to sit here and try to convince anybody of your worth. It's how it should be. <laughs> All right, so that's your reading, Leo. I hope it resonated. The only advice I can give to you is just listen to your intuition. If it feels like you're not being appreciated or you're not being acknowledged or validated in, in some sort of way, it's not so much that you're being too much. It's just probably time for you to find a better tribe. This would be the best year to do it if you really wanted my advice because everybody is starting to feel that way. And now there's a switch off where some people are just trying new things and going into new social circles to figure out who they are. We're allowed to de-shed the idea of what makes us us, but we're always evolving. So you're allowed to make changes every once in a while, even if it's with people that you would normally interact with every single day. Maybe they're better off as associates than friends. I don't know. You just got to kind of dig deep and figure out what it means for you and how you want to move forward in the situation so with that being said if this did resonate which i hope it did make sure to like share subscribe follow comment and if it didn't that's totally okay maybe there's another leo that's meant to watch this or there's somebody with leo in their chart that you know of who would benefit off of this maybe you're watching for a leo that has nothing to do with me though if you want to follow me on other forms of social media, um, Twitter is your best friend to keep up with updates on this channel, my gaming channel and Twitch. And then you also have Instagram, which is how you stalk my daily life and see what I'm up to. Or we can just be friends. You can still stalk me though. You can do both. I don't really care. <laughs> All right. I also do personal readings, but nobody ever inquires about them, so I don't have pricing or a way for you to get into them. But um, if you would like one, just hit me up. Either message me or comment down below, and I'll get back to you, and we can work something out. Other than that, I love you guys, and thank you so much for supporting me. It means a lot. You have no idea. I figured and right now, about now, I'm at 51 subscribers, and I didn't think I would even hit 50 until the following week, so... You guys amaze me and I'm so happy that I actually went through with starting the channel this year because <laughs> I'm pumped, man. You motivate me. And I love that. All right, guys. Well, I will see you in the next reading. I love you. Take care. And yeah, get some rest. I'm definitely going to, but make sure that you come back strong. Love you.